let's get right to it. There's no secret. You need to have a certain set of skills before you're going to land any job. And the machine learning engineering role was no different. Let's cover the exact skills you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a bachelor's degree. Most companies don't care what the degree is in or where it's from. They simply want you to have one. Now, if you follow me, you might say, but Mike, you say all the time that degrees are useless in IT. Yes, I do. And they are. I don't make up the rules. I'm simply telling you what they are and how to best position yourself for a job in machine learning. The next thing you're going to need are SQL skills and SQL experience. Right now, 95% of all the roles for machine learning engineers in the real world have SQL as one of the top skills. Why? Because most models are being sourced from relational databases or databases that speak SQL. Notice I said SQL experience. A machine learning engineer is not an entry-level role. If you don't have a job where you're already working with SQL, then SQL knowledge doesn't count for machine learning roles. Companies want their machine learning engineers to come into that job SQL heavy on the first day. That means if you don't have SQL experience, you're going to need to start out in a more entry-level role like a data analyst or be in a role that uses SQL. Again, that's why I created the data analyst path on LogicBot. The best entry-level role for a machine learning engineer right now is the data analyst. Many machine learning engineering roles right now have skills related to data analysts on them. Okay, where are we? You have a bachelor's degree and you're working with SQL every day on the job. What's next? You're going to need to learn machine learning. You'll need to learn Python. You're going to need to have a solid grasp of the libraries used in machine learning. For example, you're going to need to be very familiar with scikit-learn, pandas, and XGBoost. You're going to need to know a lot about data cleansing. Next, you're going to need to know a great deal about applied statistics. I'll put a link to a video down below in the comments section that tells you what applied statistics is. All of these skills are part of my platform for machine learning. It's all there. The hard part is learning it. You're going to need a few cloud skills. Most models are built in the cloud. Now, you're going to need to have cloud skills that are related to data skills. For example, the Google Certified Data Engineering Certificate is great because it has both cloud skills and machine learning engineering skills on it. It's also relatively easy as certs go. The ideal entry-level machine learning engineer's resume will have three years of experience, Power BI or a Tableau cert on it, a data-centric cloud cert, and the Google Certified Machine Learning Engineering cert on it. All right, let's wrap up. The ideal entry-level candidate for a machine learning engineer will have a bachelor's, be working and using SQL and getting data skills, a cloud cert, and a machine learning engineering cert. Now, if you're from college or new to the space, you might be thinking, wait, what about all the math and modeling I need to know? There is very little math in applied machine learning, and all the modeling has been democratized, meaning all the models are already automated. In the real world, I and everyone else working in the real world knows the best model to use for a given problem. Modeling is a solved problem, and it's the easy part of my job. Companies use recruiters, or they have internal recruiters, and all of them use certifications to fill out resumes. Regardless of the efficacy of these certifications, having them on your resume are going to get you interviews and eventually going to get you a job. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.